Okay. All right. So I just got to um, fix my hair here. Okay. So I just got to my attorney's office and we're going to go over to the courthouse together. And let's see, I want to talk about um, my day so far. Um, so today is the first day of the trial, that's jury selection. Um, and I get to be in there because of a new law, which is called Marcy's Law, that was enacted um, about a year ago in Ohio. Um, so that allows victims to be present through the entire trial. Um, so I'm going to be there today and it's going to be the first time that I see Kyle since the assault and I'm fucking nervous, <laughs> terrified. I have like so many emotions. I like feel like, like it's something that I have to do, you know, obviously. And, um, it's like, there's been so much anticipation building up for this day. It's like, I wanted, I want this to happen, but I like also don't want to do it, but I know I have to. And, um, I, doing lots of Lamaze breathing, <laughs> lots of, lots of breathing techniques that I learned in college actually serving me. <laughs> I thought I'd never use my degree, but here we are. And, um, yeah, so I'm going to try and make these video diaries throughout the process. It's probably going to be a lots of rambling and, um, yeah, so day one, here we go. Here we go. Okay. Just sitting in my car still. I like, as soon as I go in there, it starts. It's, it's fucking real and it starts and this is exactly how I was uh, before I went into the police station. Oh my god, what a hell mess. Okay, I can do this. I can do this. I can fucking do this. Let's fucking do this. Okay, so um, I just got out of um, the beginnings of jury selection. I was not allowed to sit in for them actually picking the jury. Um, but I want to talk about kind of just the experience leading up to that. So... Marcy's Law, and I'm going to try and communicate the, to the best of my knowledge about this. So, Ohio enacted a law and was just put into place, I guess, starting in this past July. So, this is um, September of 2019, so just a few months ago. Um, and this allows victims to be present during the whole trial. Um, however, the defense attorney is allowed to... Um, not protest, what's it called? Uh, object, object, object to the witness. So it's like, okay, here's this law, but then they're allowed to be like, no, like you can't sit in here. So of course, in true, uh, so Kyle's defense attorney, his name is Sam Shemansky. So, um, Sam, Mr. Shemansky, uh, of course objected to me being present during the trial because, um, they worry that, you know, other people's testimonies could could taint my testimony um so uh but Bridget Cole the prosecu prosecuting attorney did a great job in presenting the fact that um uh so they object because they yeah obviously like I said they their testimony like the other witnesses that are called to testify could could, um, taint my testimony. Um, so we, they settled on, I'm allowed to be present after I give my testimony tomorrow morning. So today they're selecting the jury. Um, and I'm going to take my glasses off. Uh, so they're selecting the jury and, um, and, um, 
and then they'll probably get to, if they have time, to the first responder's testimony. Um, and if they don't get to that today, they'll do that first thing in the morning. Um, so today was good because, A, I was able to rip off the Band-Aid and seeing Kyle for the first time um, since the since the rape. And, you know, it was... I was I had a lot of anxiety about seeing him um, and being able to look him in the eye eyes again briefly because I just didn't want to look at him um, it was <sighs> scary but I'm glad I was able to do that today instead of so now that I've gone through that I can process this today and then I feel like tomorrow I'll be in a better mindset uh, just ripping off the band-aid of seeing him for the first time again um, it looked like his brother was there and I was told his mom and maybe his new girlfriend was there I'm not sure um, but yeah so I'm gonna grab some lunch since I have not eaten anything today because of anxiety and uh, let's see what else um, yeah I think it was also good important for me to make uh, for the jury because I walked past them as they were getting ready to go in I think it's important to put a face I was able to put a face to face to the case, <laughs> um, you know, like make it more real, not real. What is the word? What am I trying to articulate? Um, I think it was important for the jury to, yes, to see that I'm a human being and that, and that this isn't just some arbitrary, per, like, you know, they, they use, they use the phrase alleged victim. Okay. So, right. Which I am. I'm an alleged victim. But then for them to actually see that I am a living, breathing human being, I hope, and I hope I made a good first impression. I don't know. I was, it was all, it was so many things. And, um, um, yeah. So, <sighs> yeah, just processing this all. So anyway, all right, I'm going to grab some lunch and, and so my job is done for today and I don't know what I'm going to do after lunch, probably just go home and watch some Netflix, just trying to chill this, this, this week and yeah, so all right, day one done. Oh, also, oh, I should probably turn this down. So, <laughs> fucking, okay, Sam Shemansky, man, he is going to be a dick. I can already tell. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> like, him objecting to the fact that I'm in there, he was just like, oh, what, what, you know, like, what. <laughs> That's like my best impression of, oh, your honor, like you know, this law, he, he was like, like, well, how dare this woman want to be present for her own, you know, trial? Like, oh, why? Like, oh, your honor, you know, I'm just appalled by this law and we know nothing about this, this law. Cool, man. Okay. So that means like, we're not supposed to, like, you have a, we have laws for a reason like you know this new law is in place for a reason it gives victims the the chance to be present and part of something that's left left such you know victims of sexual assault like this is something that like I carry with me every single day like no I don't you know sit and dwell on it but like this the fact that like this is a, now a part of who I am. And the fact that victims have never been allowed to be in just present during their court proceedings and uh, besides, you know, her own testimony, like, it's dumb. Like, 
So we're not, you know, you're telling me like we weren't allowed to be part of some uh, of our own journey. Like it's just, it blows my mind that this is like a new thing. And, and his, and Sam Shemansky's reaction of, of, uh, of, you know, just this, this law even being, being a law of, of allowing victims to, to be present and have a voice. Like his reaction was just such a typical douchey man. I was just like, <laughs> if you're a woman, you get it. You just, it's, I can tell he's like got to be the world's biggest mansplainer. Like, God, Lord. Um, thank God I have such a badass uh, defense, no, prosecuting attorney. And my attorney, Marissa Bowers, is just, they're just, thank God a woman is handling this for me because, yikes. Anyway, that was a lot of rambling. But yeah, Sam's reaction of, you know, well, we don't know. We don't know about this law, and, and and what if you know we need to call her back in? And Bridget was just like, "Well, we'll address that when we get to it." And like, just calm your tits. <laughs> That's awesome. So that was cool. Okay, done with that ramble.